Oh my goodness, what a great day. My neighbor just dropped off some banana trees for me to plant, so I'm a little bit winded. We had to get them in the ground quick. But absolutely picture-perfect day. 72, not a cloud in the sky, calm, just absolutely great. My plants are doing great there. Lawn is starting to green up. Been kind of late here in Oklahoma. But uh, what I want to show you on this micro solar generator system is some modifications I did for these ammo cans. So I mounted a couple of new SAE sockets in this slick 8 gauge jumper cable I had to modify. And I'll show you here in a second what I did. So here it is on Amazon. It's 24 inches long, 8 gauge. And here are the sockets. This is actually 12 gauge wire, but that's the thickest one I could find. And I really like those. I use one for solar too. So I'm going to pull this out and show you. I put a little dielectric grease on there, and it fits really, really snug. Love that about this socket. But one thing you got to do with this cable is I had to reverse it because it's a polarized cable. It comes in polarized, so I had to. Uh, get some ferrules, crimp them on, and three layers of heat shrink in order for it to be a paralleling cable. And those sockets on there, I got them wired so that you can hook up a battery tender SAE socket to it. So you know you can do a trickle charger on it too. Here I'm showing you my MC4 connector to SAE. And that fits in there great too. So let's get inside here and I'll show you the guts of the system. Everybody likes seeing guts, right? <laughs> a lot of spaghetti wiring going on. Everything's fused. It's a direct wire to the battery. Oh yeah, I want to show you, this is my little cheap Cracker Jack Box 10 amp, which I find to work much better than all the other ones. It's a PWM, but it still works really, really well. Here's my work there. As I said before, I went direct wire with that battery to battery interconnection and fused on both ends. As you can see here, got a couple of amps coming in, but I'm already in float. The reason why I, I did this paralleling cable SAE jack modification was I was having too much of a voltage drop with the 12 volt power socket jumper cable deal I had in there. So now I only got like a 0.1 volt drop and loving it. You know, it's kind of like a, using a thin straw or a garden hose. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. So glad spring is here.